graph the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. Let's go ahead and work this out. So the first thing I do when I do these is I think about which way the absolute value function is being shifted. So we're adding 2 to the x, so you go left 2. And we're subtracting 1 from the entire absolute value, so we're going down 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our base function, which is the absolute value of x. It looks like this. It looks like a v. And we're going to take this entire picture and we're going to shift it to the left 2 and down 1. So left 2 and down 1. So let's carefully do that over here. So this is the y-axis. And this is the x-axis. So here we have x and here we have y. So we're going to move this little tip here, which always starts at 0, 0. So we're going to go left 2 and down 1. So I'm going to use tick marks. So 1, 2, and then down 1, so maybe there. So there is the tip of the absolute value function. Now if I just draw the function, it's going to end up crossing the y-axis and the x-axis. So before I finish drawing this, I'm going to go ahead and find the intercepts. So first let's find the y-intercept. To find any intercept, you set the other one equal to 0. So to find the y-intercept, you set x equal to 0. So y is equal to the absolute value of 0 plus 2 minus 1. So this is equal to the absolute value of 2 minus 1. The absolute value of 2 is just 2. So this is 2 minus 1, which is 1. So y is equal to 1. So when x is 0, right, we plugged in 0, y is equal to 1. So the y-intercept is 0, 1. So I'm going to go back to the picture and draw that in. So you go right 0 and up 1. Boom, there it is. Now let's go ahead and find the x-intercepts. Again, to find any intercept, you set the other one equal to 0. So in this case, we set y equal to 0. So we have 0 is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. If we add 1 to both sides, we get 1 is equal to the absolute value of x plus 2. For clarity, I'm going to write this as the absolute value of x plus 2 is equal to 1. Whenever you have an absolute value and you want to get rid of it, you have to put a plus or a minus. So here you get x plus 2 equals 1 or x plus 2 equals negative 1. Then you subtract 2, so you get x equals negative 1. And you subtract 2 here, and so you get x equals negative 3. So let me come up here where there's more room. And it looks like when y is 0, x is negative 1. So we get negative 1, 0. And when y is 0, x is negative 3. So we get negative 3, 0. So these guys here are the x-intercepts. So we have one here, that's negative 1, 0. And the other one is right here, negative 3, 0. And now we can finish our graph. So all we have to do now is connect the dots and make it look like a V. It's very hard to draw a straight line. Maybe that's the hardest part of the problem. So there is our beautiful absolute value function, the absolute value of x plus 2 minus 1. And that is the final answer. I hope this video made sense.